everyone and welcome to Lavalia's Coloring. For this video, we will be picking out my third book to do a color along in for the challenge hashtag color your hoard, which I am collaborating with Kylara. And in case you are new to my channel, I want to say welcome and thank you so much for watching. And if you are wondering what the hashtag color your hoard is about, it is a challenge Kylara came up with where we go through our coloring book collection and try to color one page from each of our uncolored books and this challenge is lasting till the end of this year and our goal is pretty much to try to color as much of our uh, uncolored coloring books on instagram uh, you can also use the same hashtag to post your pictures in and each month i do a video of everyone that participated for each of those months and i already have uh, about four videos out for the past four months so if you want to check that out also there should be a playlist of, on my channel that you can look at so what I will be doing in this video is I will be using a random generator through my son's iPad to pick my third book that I'll be filming myself coloring in and for the hashtag color your hoard you don't have to use the random generator this is what um an extra <laughs> that that i that we added to do on video just to make it exciting and scary at the same time so anyways i do list all my books in a journal that you may have seen in previous videos but what you may not know is that i have transferred them all onto another journal so this journal I started out with was a gift given to me and as you can see in the sign it says bullet journal and I wanted to try out bullet journaling and this was back in 2017 when I first got this as a present. Um, yeah and I started it out and did not even last a month. I think I started in August did all this and I did not even finish it yeah so <laughs> I ended up using it to list all my coloring books and also the pages each of the pages that are in the coloring books also so it's kind of like how they would list reading uh, like reading books or TV series to watch in bullet journaling so I guess this is the closest I can get to journaling that I can do and to remain consistent. And anyways, <laughs> this is my old one. And as you can see, I didn't leave enough room to do my list. I ended up having to go back here. And as you can see, it's kind of messy. My I keep changing pens and my handwriting is messy also <laughs> so yeah so i ended up getting a new journal around may and i transferred everything it was all done during the times i was waiting to pick up my youngest daughter from high school i usually wait in the parking lot for about 40 minutes before school is let out just to beat the middle school traffic and it was the perfect time to spend on transferring the list it's a lot to do but i try to make it as simple as i can and I made a lot of mistakes, <laughs> but it's a lot cleaner than my previous um, journal. So that now it's cleaner, cleaner, I highlighted all the books that are already colored in with a little heart beside it. So back to Color Your Horde, I will use a number generator and we will see what my next book will be. So I'll just turn on my son's, whoops, there you go, there you go. And we're at 386 bucks. And we'll go ahead and generate. 219. That is two 
That is 219 is the Love Sickness Chinese Coloring Book. So I'll be right back and I will go find that book. Okay, so the Love Sickness Chinese Coloring Book is this one. Go ahead and turn this off, put this aside. You can't see. There you go. So this is the book. Um, I don't know. Uh, let me know if you guys want to do, want me to do a flip through of this. I still have to decide what which picture to do. So many pretty ones. I'm not sure. But I will be right back and see if I can choose one in a second. Okay, so the page that I picked from this Love Sickness Chinese coloring book is this one with the guy. And I thought I would challenge myself. I've never colored a guy before, so might as well start now and on video. <laughs> so. Yeah, so I decided to color this guy, and yeah, it, it kind of took me a while looking through all these beautiful, beautiful illustrations. It's just that, you know, I had to be kind of inspired to color a page, and this is the one that really spoke out to me. Actually, it was either this one or the one with the hydrangeas. Let's see here but because they have guys in this coloring book I decided to just go ahead and try coloring this page with the guy and I decided the pencils that I will use on this page will be the luminance the Caran d'Ache luminance colored pencils and pretty much the reason why I picked the luminance is I haven't tested it out on this page or on this on this paper but I'm yeah so we'll see how it goes I already have a color scheme going on in my head of what I want to do with the outfit and hopefully it stays in my head and doesn't like shift around and I find myself lost again so <laughs> yeah so yeah, so in the next video, we'll go ahead and start coloring in here. The one I am kind of stumped about with this picture is what to do with the background. Uh, I do want to try watercolors, but because there's so many fine illustrations in the background, i uh, kind of hesitant about doing that. I don't know about if I should just go in with pencils or pastels. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, please leave it down in the comments. So that's pretty much it. This will be my book number three for the hashtag color your horde color along. And I hope you guys come back to watch me color this. Please enjoy, take care, and happy colorings. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.